I is for individual. That which is defines. I and the pronoun I stand for individual. This is what you are saying when you say I. I is simply an abbreviation for the word individual. You'll notice that the U in the word individual is in the shape of a man and woman joined together into one. This is to denote the duality or indivisible duality of masculine and feminine inherent to the individual. This is the standard for man and woman as defined by God, the individual. Mark chapter 10, verse 6 through 8. But from the beginning of the creation, God made them male and female. For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife. And they twain shall be one flesh. So then they are no more twain, but one flesh. What therefore God hath joined together, let not man put asunder. 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 3 to 4. Let the husband render unto the wife due benevolence, and likewise also the wife unto the husband. The wife hath not power of her own body, but the husband, and likewise also the husband hath not power of his own body, but the wife. Created us, the marriage, attachment, one with, not twain, man and woman, the marriage. The word focus is related to vision with the eye, but also a trait of the individual. Focus, the state or quality of having or producing clear visual definition. To cause, to converge on or toward a central point. The centre of interest or activity. To close or narrow attention. As a verb, it means to adapt to the prevailing level of light and become able to see clearly. The individual is the centre of interest. The one to narrow our attentions to. The narrow way. Another trait of the individual is clarity. The state or quality of purity being clear or transparent to the eye. Also, clearness or lucidity as to perception or understanding. Freedom from indistinctiveness or ambiguity. Purity is synonymous with innocence, virtue or moral excellence. To live by these qualities is to live an honest and transparent life which is pleasing in the eyes of God. Freedom from indistinctiveness or ambiguity means that the moral guidelines that an individual follows are clear to understand for what they are and what they are not. God being the one to give meaning and purpose to creation, he is the one who defines the conduct of the individual. Definition, a statement of the precise meaning of something. The condition of being definite, distinct or clearly outlined. The state of determined limits, features and outlines. More Bible verses where the indivisible duality of man and woman is mentioned is in the book of Ephesians, chapter 5, verses 28 to 33. So ought men to love their wives as their own bodies. He that loveth his wife loveth himself, for no man ever yet hated his own flesh, but nourisheth and cherisheth it, even as the Lord of the church. For we are members of his body, of his flesh, and of his bones. For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother, and shall be joined unto his wife. And they too shall be one flesh. This is a great mystery, but I speak concerning Christ and the church. Nevertheless, let every one of you in particular so love his wife, even as himself, and the wife see that she reverence her husband. That which is defines. What you are defines what you do.